The next Otani-esque two-way professional baseball player might be lacing up his cleats as we speak, down at the University of Florida. Standing in at 6'5", 250, heading into his age 21 season, his junior year, this is designated hitter, first baseman, and starting pitcher, Jack Caglione. And shoot, myself comparing him to Otani is not putting any additional pressure on him, as his nickname on campus is Jack Tawny. And Jack Tawny has no plans of just hitting or just pitching anytime soon. He was quoted saying, I don't really see me really stopping unless a team flat out tells me down the road that I've got to pick one or makes the decision for me. I have no interest in stopping whatsoever. And for good reason, as you'll see in this video. Jack works from the left side of the plate as well as from the rubber. On the mound has been up to 101 miles an hour in side sessions, up to 99 in games. And this LSU batter did his best couch GM impression in the batter's box. Good luck. And at the play, it routinely records exit velocities of 110 miles an hour plus, even recording an exit velocity in 2023 of 120 miles an hour. Now that is what scouts would call plus plus power. So left on left now, and Caglione absolutely annihilates the baseball. This a no doubter. In his sophomore year playing for the University of Florida, his second year in college baseball, Caglione would lead the nation in home runs with 33, which is a University of Florida record, as well as a record for the most home runs in a single season during the BB Core era. The BB Core era started way back in 2011. A quick reminder, if you're liking the content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you or someone you know is thinking of buying, selling, or refinancing, reach out to myself, the Couch GM, or visit LenderConnorWeb.com to hit a home run with your mortgage financing needs. Jack would play in all 71 games during the Gators season in 2023, including the NCAA playoffs. When he's not pitching, he's playing first base. And when he's pitching, he's still batting in the lineup at DH. You cannot take him out of the lineup. Along with his 33 home runs, he also had a 323 batting average, a 389 on base percentage, a 738 slug, which is a ridiculous 1.126 OPS. He would also log 90 RBIs in the 71 games that he played in. And for those of you that are curious, that is a 75 home run, 205 RBI pace over 162 game season. Yeah, blah, 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 college pitching and a metal bat, but you get the point. On top of his insane ability, he also has the personality. If you know the story behind this one, why he's walking like a robot, his teammate got ejected for showing a little emotion after a strikeout earlier in the game, so Caglione had to act nonchalant after hitting a grand slam. As for Caglione pitching in 2023, this was his first year pitching in college, as he had Tommy John surgery leading him to miss the 2022 season off the mound. We'll get into those details in a bit, but Jack was the starting pitcher in 18 games in 2023. He logged 74 in two thirds innings, recording a 4.34 ERA, a 1.42 whip, a 10.5 strikeouts per nine, and a 6.6 .6 walks per nine, which is definitely the area that needs some work. Heading into the 2024 season, scouts rank his bat in the first round, his pitching ability currently in the second round, combine the hitting and the pitching, and you've got a lock for a top 10 pick. So let's get into Jack Caglione and how he got to this point. Jack grew up in Tampa, Florida, which is about a two hour drive south of his current residence in Gainesville, Florida. He would go on to attend Henry Plant High School, in his senior year, he would bat 371 with three home runs and a 2.44 ERA on the mound, with two saves and 65 strikeouts over 37 and a third innings, approaching two strikeouts per inning. And by that time, he was 6'5", 210, hitting 94 miles an hour on the gun, and he was ranked as Florida's number six overall prospect out of high school, the number one left-handed pitcher, and the number four ranked left-handed pitcher in the country. He would end up committing to the University of Florida specifically as a pitcher. Until unfortunately, just a week before he reported to campus, he would suffer a tear in his throwing elbow, which would require Tommy John's surgery. He initially planned to take a red shirt freshman year to rehab that elbow, but eventually he convinced the coach to give him a start at DH, and in his first career start, he hit his first career home run. In his first career start, well, welcome to the SEC. 
In Jack's first year in college baseball, he played in 28 games. In over 115 plate appearances, he batted 289 with a 339 on base percentage, a 548 slug, which is an 887 OPS. He recorded seven home runs and 27 RBIs. In his first exposure to college baseball, he was on a respectable 40 home run, 156 RBI pace over a 162 game season. Jack would play in fall ball in 2022, during which he was able to hit and pitch. He would be ready to go for that 2023 season. And he would start the season off on an absolute tear. The Dickhauser Trophy Players of the Month for February 2023 were LSU's Paul Skeens National Pitcher of the Month, and then Jack Caglione winning Player of the Month. In his opening month, Jack would bat 429 with 7 home runs and 14 RBIs along with 2 doubles and 12 runs scored. He had a 1.086 slug, a 487 on base, as the Florida Gators would start off the season 8-1 ranked number 2 in the country behind LSU. Jack would go on to have an incredible year at the plate as previously described. While on the mound he had electric stuff, he just has a bit of fine tuning to figure out. The Florida Gators would fall to the LSU Tigers two games to one in the College World Series, but it was an epic showdown. With superstars on both teams in Paul Skeens and Dylan Cruz on LSU's team, as well as Caglione and Wyatt Langford for Florida, Langford would end up being the number four overall pick in the draft to the Texas Rangers. Caglione would be one of five finalists for the Dick Hauser Trophy in 2023, which is given to the best baseball player in the country. Paul Skeens would take the award in 2023, but Caglione is on speed dial for 2024. While in Omaha, Jack Taney received the news that he had been selected as a member of the 2023 Collegiate National Team, a team that is composed of the top non-draft eligible players in the country. Caglione stated, it meant everything. I've always wanted to represent my country and play with a great group of guys. It's everything I've ever wanted. I'm really excited to be a part of this and enjoy my time out here. And as if there was any doubt, his power plays with the wood bat too. Oh, look at Jack Caglione, first pitch missile over the scoreboard in right field. This home run left the bat at 116 miles an hour, traveled 440 feet, and was one of his three home runs and eight RBIs that he had in the series against Chinese Taipei and Japan. When asked about the life in the spotlight after the end of the college season, Jack Taney responded that he wants to be a positive influence on the next generation. He said, I really just want to be an inspiration for younger kids. Anything is attainable if you work for it. You just have to work hard and put the time in. You're going to have to make some sacrifices, but it's all worth it. Just enjoy the game and be present in the moment. It seems that Jack was built for the spotlight and the spotlight is what he'll be getting this next year as well. This image stating this is a generational talent. It's a singular talent in the history of college baseball. He's been named a preseason first team All-American, the preseason two-way player of the year, the preseason SEC player of the year, and Otani has named Caglione as the Otani preseason Otani of the year. <laughs> Definitely not an award yet, but if it was, then he would have it. But I mean, with Otani not being able to pitch this next year, Caglione really is going to be one of a kind. And oh by the way, Caglione has been working this offseason to dial in his pitching mechanics to help with his command. Which led to this offseason him meeting with his various pitching coaches, as well as with former big leaguer Cliff Lee, to strategize how to be more efficient moving to the plate, and to limit those walks. So baseball fans, tune into a Florida game this year, be on the lookout for Jack Caglione, and enjoy the show. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and share this with a baseball fan. And we'll see you next time.